Welcome back my duelist friends, Casual Duelist here and today we're going to do some test hands for yesterday's deck which is absolutely a glass cannon, meaning this deck is either going to work amazing for you or it's absolutely going to break up. Um, but again, it looked like it was going to be fun, there was more cards that were added to my collection due to the recent box releases. Um, so we thought we'd give it a try and what we're going to try to do is play Dark Gaia. So. I'm going to try a couple test hands. If it doesn't work out, guys, what we're going to end up doing is just talk over the basic strategies real quick for you. And then we're going to let you guys go and uh, try to have a good start to a, maybe an early start to this weekend. Um, so I should probably be shuffling this over here. Um, plenty of things to do. If you guys haven't checked out this deck profile, maybe finish this video. and Maybe just pause this one. Go back. Check out yesterday's video first. Um, because again, maybe the, the card choices will make a little more sense or you guys could finish this and then same thing Maybe the card choices will make a little more sense after you see things in motion um, So again uh, Not trying to get too crazy with this. Uh, let's start. I'm gonna go first first I'm gonna go second second because that just seems natural and I should probably cut this for being a hundred percent One two three four and five that is our opening hand what do we get? How do we play? We got a Dark Fusion, which is great. We have the ability to immediate... Oh, no, that's not. That's not a rock. Uh, we end up with a Dunk Hand. So uh, not a lot that you're going to be doing this round, actually. Because uh, for some reason, I thought Gainer just being darker was, for some reason, a rock there. Uh, but we did end up with enough Fusion Spells. Now, what you probably end up having to do is throw Gainer in defense past turn. Watch him get obliterated. Field Presence will probably get lost. You draw, and I didn't shuffle this deck nearly enough um so that's pretty bad let's try first one more time and then if that doesn't work maybe we'll go ahead edit out and i'll shuffle this a little bit longer because that that was that's what i mean by glass cannon guys it's just terrible when it doesn't work uh but you feel amazing when it does so cut the deck Flip the top five. We got Gainer. We got Kokomiru Guardians. Now we've got a Rock and a Fiend. Two Guardians, Super Poly, Imperm. So again, this isn't terrible. Uh, we could just set these two and see what happens. You could obviously summon the Guardian and then start showing a Guardian. To turn one, not too bad. And if we went second with this, we would start off with an extra wall, uh, which again could be good. Because um, that, that's the one that stops the spells, not just the monster effects. And then the Eden Perm would also be live during the opponent's entire turn. Plus, like we just said yesterday, we'd actually start our turn by performing the Impermanence. Now, outside of that, we're going to be pretty stuck for plays. Um, unless their monster was small enough. Or somehow you managed to Super Poly play out of that. Um, but still, it is what it is. Now let's try a couple where we go second. And see if that doesn't work out just a tad better. Because again... I could just keep doing this, but I like to do everything in one go. Um, I don't like staging my hands. So if we're just getting the I didn't shuffle my deck enough jitters before taping, so be it, guys. Give it a couple more. And a cut. And we'll get our initial five. We got Radeon, Gainer, Malicious, Geki, Gainer. So again... I'm not hating this opening. Uh, all we need is any one catalyst thing to take us there. We're going to get the Dark Calling, which means we could actually summon from hand. Um, but the only problem is you didn't have any rocks. So feel free. Uh, bop the opposing side of the field with the Geki. Um, if you feel like it might be more apt for you to go Gainer into Malicious. Nope, can't do that. Uh, that would be a special summon. Um... Yeah, you would just literally just Geki and then summon something, call it, and then sh 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 next turn you get a Monk, so as long as you still have the Calling, you can go into the Utopia then. So that's good-ish. I feel like I'm just going to get bad hands because of how much I hyped this up yesterday, but it is what it is. Let's go one more time, and then we'll just sort of explain out like best case scenario stuff. Because clearly it's just not it's just not doing it today. Do, 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 do. So yeah, guys, uh, 
it may be a little spotty in this week and next week. I, I know I said this earlier in the week. Uh, starting to get ready to move. So a lot of stuff getting packed up. Um, big stuff coming ahead. Big stuff. Um, okay. And again, cut it. One, two, three. Radeon, Monk, Poly, Dark Calling, Nibiru. Okay, so this is one or of the more or less better hands that we can have. And this is one of the silly ones too. So draw our card for the turn. We got Malicious Edge. Probably not going to play him. However, there are a couple of things that you can do. First off, we can immediately Dark Call. Doesn't matter what we use. Uh, Nibiru is going to be used unless, of course, you nibbed uh, during your opponent's turn. At which point, uh, he'll still be on the field, so Dark Calling is not going to really work for you unless you go into the Malicious Edge to get him in the discard pile, at which point that's still going to be pretty awkward for you. Um, but what you could do, again, you could Dark Call these two. That's going to be a 5,600-point Dark Gaia. Um, we could Summon a Monk, uh, Pitch Polly, uh, bring out an evil hero, Infernal Gainer. You could give that one double attacks. Uh, we could simply go into our rank four Xyz play uh, immediately here. And we could slam dunk with the Utopia double. Um, or additionally, depending on how the turn feels, you could Kaiju the opponent's monster. And again, this is more, more or less like if you did play the Nibiru, you could Kaiju the token away. Summon the Summoner Monk, and then just activate the Super Polymerization instead, probably pitching the Malicious Edge. This way, once, you know, everything is all said and done, you'll eventually be able to Dark Calling with your Rock in the discard pile. So, like, this turn's got some stuff to it, but let's break down the individual bits for you guys. So, obviously, Summoner Monk is going to be good for us because, number one, we can get monsters on the field if we need links. Uh, generally, I don't need the links. They're in here more or less as my security blanket because, you know, stuff. Uh, generally, it's the backup plan for the Utopia double play. Or, if we uh, just want to, we could use Degaris instead because maybe we drew into the double or nothing. Again, 1 out of 40, it happens. Uh, just not that often. So, again, a little bit of redundancy built in. Uh, and, again, as long as your opponent's monster is uh, 2k or less. Uh, that's going to be a, a quick OTK. Again, I was happy to pull this real quick. Uh, Summoner Monk plus Super Polymerization and, and Radeon equals your own in-house Starving Venom Fusion Dragon, uh, which, again, could do some crazy things, um, which is totally a thing. And I really love the fact that I ended up being able to pull into Radeon and Nib at the same time uh, because, again, they do make, I want to say, the strongest at uh, 5,800. The strongest variant of the Dark Gaia available in this build. Again, you'll find some other gimmicky builds in the past. I know we used to use big monsters. We used to use things like Lava Golem um, as our fiend. I saw a couple of decks way back in the day. Used to use Raviel, Lord of Phantasms for the 4K. Uh, and then uh, a lot of Valkyrion, the Magna Warrior, for the giant 3,500-point rock. Uh, these, I felt, were just way more playable, a little more topical to today. Again, this is a glass cannon, guys. Don't expect to take this to, like, nationals, regionals, or worlds. This isn't catching anybody. This is just because you want to have fun, um, which I think is something that everybody uh, is sorely lacking in these days. Um, another big strategy with this deck is the fact that you can use Dark Fusion. Fuse up a copy of Dark Gaia from your hand. Uh, with whatever materials, again, let's just say it's the toughest two. Uh, you make a 5,800 point one. Uh, they're already in a discard pile. Now you banish them with the Dark Calling and make a secondary Dark Gaia. Same stats, now you got two of them. And then again, if you end up being able to somehow extend out um, with Utopia or whatever, or an evil, evil hero Infernal Gainer, these are other ways to just kind of make the play stronger. Uh, either through double attacks or what have you. Uh, but most of this is just tech, and it's weird, and it's it's really just meant for fun, guys. So, again, I'm going to stop showing you the deck, because then you guys won't go watch the deck list if you haven't seen it already. But uh, if you guys do want the list, I did upload this yesterday. 
I do hope you guys all get a chance to mess around with this for some fun. And like yesterday, I'm going to ask again, because it is possible. Do you guys want to see a Dark Gaia deck built for common charity? If you do, let me know in the comment section. If you guys do, I'll build it for like next Tuesday. Um, so it'll give me the weekend to uh, really kind of work on it. Honestly, I'm going to work on it anyway. But if you guys want to see it sooner, I'll give it to you guys sooner. Um, I did get requested a Red Eyes Black Dragon one. And I do want to bring that one up in the next couple of weeks for the common charity. Because to me, I, I just love that card. And I really want to see what I can do with that. Um, it does seem like it would be fun and sort of like a mid-range deck. So uh, we'll check that. And uh, hopefully you guys will finish out your Friday having a great day. So uh, hopefully I'll see you guys tomorrow. Later.